hey what's up guys in this video we're going to talk about css colors so in css the color property is used to set the text color of any element so we can use the predefined color name or we can also use the rgb or hex value and even we can use the hsl color values like an example inside the style tag we can select the h1 element and here we can use the css color property and the css value can be any predefined color name like red and this way we can set the color of the text of the h1 element and also we can use the hex color code like hash and then ccc and this way we can have the gray color of the text and also we can use the rgb color value like the color property can be rgb and inside we pass the red green and blue values like the red can be 255 the green can be 99 and the blue can be 71 and also we can use the hsl color values so hsl so hsl stands for hue saturation and lightness so the hue can be any number from 0 to 360 so we can set it like 50 and then the saturation can be a number from 0 to 100 so i'm gonna set it 80 percent and then we have the lightness so the lightness can be any number from 0 to 100 percent so i'm gonna set it 50 percent and this way we can set the hsl color values and also we can use the rgba color codes so the rgba has the alpha channel which sets the opacity and the opacity can be numbers from 0 to 1 the value 0 means it will be completely transparent and the value 1 means it will be completely visible so i'm gonna set it 0.5 similarly also we can use the alpha channel with the hsl color value and here also the alpha channel can have the value from 0 to 1 0 means completely transparent and 1 means it will be completely visible so i'm gonna set it 0.5 so this is the way we can set the color of one element by using either the color name or we can use the hex value even we can use the rgb or we can use the hsl color values and also we can use the alpha channel with the rgb so we can use the rgba or we can also use the alpha channel with the hsl value so we can use hsla and this way we can set the color of the text so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one thank you